going on everybody this is your boy real gaming 27 i'm back again with another video today i just wanted to give y'all guys my impressions on how i feel about the switch overall from the console part to the handheld part and i'm gonna you know give you my opinions uh my thoughts about this 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 console uh what i'm gonna give you my thoughts on what i think was going to drive a lot of sales for this console uh so basically i just want to talk about the pro controller so basically the pro controller uh, was not bundled with the switch. I wish it was uh, Because this is like one of the best controls uh, Nintendo has ever uh, gave us uh, They always had really good pro controls from the, uh, the Wii to the Wii U uh, A lot of people were just so frustrated and angry about the fact that you know We was forced with a lot of motion controls and stuff and not giving us a standard controller so when Nintendo did this generation, it was a lot better, but it wasn't what we thought it was going to be. But I don't have a huge issue because the way they designed this was kind of like uh, that phrase Mr. T said in this video, like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, let's, just, let's just see uh, what Mr. T is talking about when you say Swiss Army knife. So this is your grip and this is your Joy-Cons. So basically you slide this right here. It's so easy, real easy. It's so easy, like basically I don't have no issues taking putting this on and taking this off. Uh, we put the Joy-Cons uh, to the grip, but when you're talking about these, um, these straps, it's kind of a different story because I did have a, a hard time with that. So this is, this is so simple, and it's kind of like a, a smaller version of the Pro Controller. You know, but it's still doable, you know? Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but this is as standard as you can get. You know, just by putting this on the uh, grip, and look, you, you kind of mess with it, and it's not going nowhere. So. That was a great idea on Nintendo. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but I still like the design on how they did it. It looks really cool, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be my my uh, my uh, controller of choice of what I'm going to use most of the time. This is going to be what I'm going to use most of the time because it's more comfortable, it's bigger, uh, and plus I just, I just love everything about it. The buttons are bigger. Uh, there's D-pad, like this is a, a standard controller that you want out of a system. This right here, it's, it's okay. It's not my preference, but this is why I spent an extra $70 for this controller and I think it is worth the price. A lot of people want to compare uh, controllers, uh, the prices, and you got, of course, you got the, uh, the DualShock 4, which costs $65 retail. And you got the, of course, you got the Xbox controller, in which I think is the best controller in the world. It's sixty dollars retail. I know some people could be like, well, you can get, you can buy for like forty-five, fifty dollars on Amazon Prime. You can get this, you get that. But I'm just telling y'all guys, the standard price of a pro, uh, not pro controller, a DualShock is sixty-five and sixty for the Xbox controller. This is standard. You can always get deals everywhere. You can probably get a deal for the pro controller somewhere. I don't know, but I'm talking about standard prices from sixty to sixty-five. To 70. So basically, they all good controllers. It's just these two controllers right here are really the best ones that I love. The DualShock, Sony have came a long way with their controllers. One thing I cannot stand about Sony's controllers is these the analog sticks. The analog sticks are so close. So whenever you, you play shooters, like look, I got long thumbs and it, it touches each other all the time. So this is why I prefer an Xbox controller because it doesn't touch. You see that? I have a lot of room. I have a lot of room to maneuver my thumbs. Same thing with the uh, Nintendo Pro Controller. They kind of got that same design. So it, that's, that's why I love these controllers. And they're kind of similar, just look at it. The only difference between these two controllers is that this has uh, motion controls built within this and it has a um, what's that? The Mego support uh, has gyroscope, and what's that other thing? Uh, Amiibo functionality. So it's basically kind of like a Swiss Army knife with the with the controller, and the same thing with this. It's a Swiss Army knife because you can basically take this apart, and if you're a lazy gamer, and you could just sit back, relax, and just play like this. If you want to play, if you want to play Legend of Zelda without putting your hands close to each other, you could just do it like this. Just relax. So that's a great way of playing. Like I love how Nintendo gave us a lot of options to play whatever game we want. If we want to sit up here and and play this on this, we could just turn this on and play it on here uh, with, with the Joy Cons, or we can use uh, the Pro Controller, or we could just uh, put this, put this. Um, the Joy Cons in the, in the grip and play it like that. Like, I love how they gave us a lot of options to play these games 
however we want to play. So this is what I'm loving about the console. Is this console perfect? No, it's far from perfect because there's been a lot of uh, issues um, recently, but am I having issues with it? No, I'm not having issues. The only issues that I had was was these. Uh, I will, I would try, I, I would uh, put these straps in the Joy-Con, uh, but I don't want to be fighting uh, during this video. So basically, I, I say that for another time. So basically, like I said, I just want to give you my impression on how I feel about it. Uh, so basically, let's um, go ahead and turn this thing on. Oh yeah, I need to talk about this. This right here, so it is a little flimsy. So I advise y'all to be extra careful with this. Like, it's like this. This is really not made for kids to to basically bring everywhere they go. Like, I wouldn't even trust teenagers with it because a lot of them are just careless. This is really made for like adults because adults are more careful when it comes to uh, tablets and phones and stuff because they know how much money they, they spent with this product. I spent over $300 or about $400 plus tax if you want to include the Pro Controller. And I know how much this stuff costs, so I try to be as extra careful as I can. So that's, that's one thing about this I don't like. It's, it's, it can be a little fragile. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and turn this on. Of course, I had it in sleep mode. So let's turn the, put the Joy-Cons in here. And it's so easy putting these Joy-Cons on. That's what I love about this. So easy, very easy, very easy. So, press the button three times. I don't have no issues with my Switch. It, it's been working perfectly fine. And basically what I love about this, you could do what the hell you want to do. You play it as a handheld, or you, you can just basically just pick it up and just put it in the dock. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and just put it in the dock right now. All right, people, I wanna give y'all a quick run through on the main reason why I love this Switch and why I think it's going to drive in a shit load of sales. And just just look at the fact that you can play as a handheld, then you take it over here. You see how this is on? Oh well, how this TV is still off. As soon as I put this in here, let's go ahead and, and put this in gently. I'm gonna try to be as gentle as I can because some people has been having a hard time uh, keeping their uh, keeping their uh, screen, you know, uh, unscratched. So basically, home. That's okay. See how that green light just came on? Since that green light just came on, look. It, look, it just came on itself, and there you go. So basically, instead of using the Joy-Cons, I could just get my Pro Controller, my Pro Controller, and there we go. Just however you want to play this thing, it's already set. I, that, that's, that's what I love about this thing, man. Like, there's still a lot of issues that needs to get resolved but let's let's do this again I'm gonna take it out take it out it's off let's put it back in boom there you go there you have it man I haven't had no issues with this I'm so excited about this and yes, look at that, like, I ain't got no other games, so, yeah, Nintendo, they needs to get on the ball, uh, giving us more games, especially if they want to keep us off of Sony and Microsoft's platforms, uh, because, you know, even though I'm playing Zelda right now, I really ain't got much else to play. I don't know, I just bought Shovel Knight, so I'm gonna play that as well, but in order for me to stay off of Microsoft's and Sony's platforms, uh, we need to have more games, so that's one of my biggest gripes. I know they're spreading a lot of these good games over the, over the months, but third-party support is really important. But I really believe that this aspect right here, just taking it out and putting it back in, is going to sell the consoles uh, slash hybrid, and um, and the word of mouth is going to is going uh, what sell this switch because you can take this everywhere you want on a plane on a bus take it to a cafe starbucks and when a lot of people start seeing uh what you playing they could be like well what is that that is so cool and then when they find out that's the newest nintendo system that you could take it on the go and when you take when you come home put it in that dock and play it on your tv and in 1080p that's what's going to sell Nintendo already is already, they, they doing a really great job advertising, but just the handheld 
uh, part about it until it's going to sell itself. And that's what I love about it. Um, Cause more sales equals more games, more third party support. So that that's 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 the great thing I love about it. There's still a lot of flaws. There's some defective uh, switches and you know, it's like I say, it's a new product. Uh, there's been a whole bunch of issues with the Xbox One with their disk drive situation because I had an issue with the disk drive. I wanted to have to get another Xbox because you know it's just a, it's the second generation in a row. I had an issue with my Xbox 360. Had the red ring of death. Of course, had the the blue light on the on the on the, on the PlayStation 3 and all it, it, like like I say, man. Like when you buy products uh, day one, a lot of times they will mess up. You know, it's, it's, it is it is what it is. I'm not having an issue with it yet. Hopefully, I won't have an issue. But it's it's really uh, cool. It's it's been a really cool experience uh, with the Switch, and of course uh, the whole friend the whole friend things. Uh, I would love for them to basically tell us who's online. It tells us that how many people is online that's, that's cool and everything. But I would love for whoever's online get you know give us a notification like you know whoever is online on like you know kind of like what we get from the Xbox and, and the PlayStation. So pretty sure there's a lot of kinks that Nintendo needs to work out. But yeah, but I just wanted to show y'all this little quick um, this little quick tutorial on how this works. I won't call it tutorial. Like I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all already know what it is. Pretty explanatory. So basically, I'm gonna just give y'all my final thoughts on how I feel about the Switch overall. All right, people, my final conclusion for this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it, I don't wanna keep it too long, so, you know, I like the system, uh, I think it's gonna be great, the handheld part is what's gonna sell, because uh, one last time Nintendo's handhelds failed them, their handhelds always outsold their consoles every generation, and since Nintendo had merged their consoles with their handhelds, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a wonderful generation, because I expect Monster Hunter to come, I expect Pokemon. Of course, we already know about Fire Emblem Awards coming. The mainline Fire Emblem game coming. Uh, Shimigami, uh, Shimigami Tensei is coming. You know, so they got a lot of strong support from the 3DS developers that's coming on to the Switch. So I expect those, and I expect a lot more third-party support. And third-party support equals more sales. So that's the main thing I'm looking at. This is not a Wii U 2.0, people. This is not a Wii U 2.0. Last time I checked. You can't take a game pad on an airplane. You, well, you can take it on an airplane, but you won't play nothing. <laughs> you can't take a game pad at the park, on the train, taxi cab. You well, well, take you can, but you won't play shit. But you can play this everywhere you want to go. You want to go to a hot spot and play all your online games with your friends, Mario Kart, uh, 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 Fast RMX, or whatever, Bomberman. All these online games is gonna come to the Switch. Like, it's going to be a blast, especially with, uh, whenever Splatoon comes out. So, I see the I see the potential of this console. I see all the money Nintendo is going to drive in. Will it be a next week? I don't know. I really don't know. Right now, it's having a really good start. Uh, it's selling out everywhere. People are loving it. Of course, there's some people that's actually having some issues, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get those, uh, those issues uh, worked out. But... You know, like I say, for the future of this uh, Switch, I think it's going to be something very, very special. And I just hope the best for Nintendo, and I just hope the best for the gaming industry, because we need more competition. If we, if we have less competition, and if it's just only PS4, and it's just this on top, and nobody else is competing, then why should, P, why should Sony give out good deals? The reason why Sony has given out good deals lately is because Xbox was on their butts, uh, especially when the Xbox One S was selling out. The Xbox One was selling really well, and that's what drove Sony to basically uh, give price cuts on the PlayStation, uh, give out better, better uh, free games every month instead of these little crappy low quality indie games. We've been Sony has been doing a lot better with the quality lately because of Microsoft has been on their butts. And we, since Nintendo is out right now and this is hot competition with competition out here, guys, that means that us consumers win. We win because if. Uh, one of the companies decide to drop a price, have a price cut, then the other company might do a price cut on their console, meaning that us consumers at the end win because we are getting cheaper products because uh, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo is trying to one-up each other. So we need Nintendo in this game and entry, people. Some of y'all Nintendo haters just needs to cut it out. Cut it out. Y'all see, I see something special. I know y'all don't see nothing special with it because of y'all hatred with Nintendo. Look, there's a lot of stuff that Nintendo needs to fix. I understand that, but at the end of the day, Mario, Zelda, uh, Metroid is what, what keeps me a strong Nintendo fan. 
So I guess after that, guys, that's basically all I have to say with this uh, video. I know I've been rambling a very long time, but I just had to get this uh, video out there. I know a couple of y'all guys asked me about my impressions of what a switch, so I just want to you know give y'all this. Uh, at least I owe y'all this. So uh, really, um, um, am thankful for y'all y'all ongoing support. Uh, thank y'all for supporting my podcast and everything. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please support my podcast. Uh, you know, I would love to have an average of at least a thousand people a week uh, per podcast, at least, and you know, at least a hundred people watching. I would love to have that. So, if this is your first time watching this uh, this channel, uh, you know, like I say, man, just come to my podcast. I have it every Thursday, and I have um, I have you know uh, Q and A's with y'all. Uh, once a week, and of course, me and Active City Gaming, that's Alex, uh, shouts, out, uh, shouts out to him. Uh, we do our podcast together, uh, I will say every Sunday, probably every other Sunday. So I'm pretty busy, y'all just make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, because I'm always active on Twitter, and I will give y'all the, the updates on what I'm planning on doing with the channel. Uh, I will be doing uh, more videos, uh, uh, you know, be, because I've been kind of slacking, but like I said, I owe this to y'all. I will be doing more giveaways on how I did yesterday in the podcast, so, um, it was pretty fun uh, yesterday in the podcast. So I really appreciate everybody's participation. Uh, participation. So I will be doing more trivia questions, and whoever uh, gets these questions uh, answered first, you will be getting uh, some gifts. Like I've been giving away some gift cards. So what I do with every podcast, no, but I will be doing more in the future. So y'all make sure y'all y'all stay tuned to this channel. And after that, I will see y'all on the next ride. Peace out.